What's up, everybody? Latino Free Minds, episode 24. Hey, 24, ain't it? Um, <laughs> how's it going, Danny? Going good. Cool. How you doing? Doing good, doing good. You know, staying busy, work, um, a lot of driving around, you know, uh, three hour, I had a three hour drive. Well, yeah, one way and then three hours back. So, you know, that always, that always feels good at the end of the day. <laughs> well, it's a, a lot of time on the road. Yeah, it is. Yeah, way too much time. But no, it's all good, you know. Um, it, you know, it's part of the part of the job. So I'm, 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 gig. Yep. I'm used to it. Just sometimes it just, yeah, it, it kind of get you know, it hits you sometimes. But you know, overall, everything's going good here. You know, at the house and all that. The weather hasn't been too bad. I mean, it's getting warmer, but I, I would have figured it'd be way hotter by now. So yeah, surprisingly, it hasn't been as warm as uh, it seemed like it was going to be. Remember, in the beginning, it started off pretty warm. Yeah, and it hasn't been that warm, so it's kind of nice. I, I read somewhere, uh, like a couple of days ago, that was it like another, another El Nino was forming. Oh, really? Yeah, and it, it said something about um. You know, if it if it does come back, that it uh it would more than likely reverse like every drought. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But well, so called droughts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so called droughts. Oh yeah, we we drove by the Pacheco Pass, dude, and that thing is maxed out. Yeah, maxed it's, out. It was crazy. nice. It was nice seeing that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. We drove when when you on Saturday. Is that when you drove by it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's when we drove by it, too. I was like, damn, it's it's nice and full. Uh, yeah, it looks nice. A lot of people were standing out there, uh, sitting up on the lawn chairs, fishing, oh, and yeah. stuff like that. So yeah. th- I bet you there's a lot of people who are like, wow, I can't believe this. Th- it's full again. They probably thought that it was never going to get filled up again. <laughs> For real. <laughs> oh, man. It's like I saw that, you know, it was like, oh, I think – most, if not all, the the major reservoirs in California are filled up. You know, I was just like, oh, okay, that's cool. I was like, well, New- Newsom will find a way to mess that up. Yeah, they'll just dump all the water in the ocean. So, yeah. so no, but yeah, I had seen that that uh that another El El Nino could be forming, and we might get a lot of rain next year too. Which I mean, to me, it's good. I don't got no issues with that. <clears throat> yeah, if it's a little cooler and stuff. Yeah. Be nice. Oh, the water supposed to uh supposedly the bluest it's ever been. Well, not ever, but in a long time in Lake Tahoe. A lot oh, of people really? are talking about that. So when we're over there next month, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. nice. Yeah, yeah, I haven't been to Tahoe in well, when was the last time we went? Oh, like Hector's birthday, right? Was it? Well, for me. Yeah, we went back after that. We but it was um that was 2021 right yeah yeah we went last year we went last year so that was nice damn okay yeah i can't i can't wait to go you know it's usually pretty nice in the summer so i mean that's the that's the good thing about living in california right that other than all the crappy things that happen locally you know at the <laughs> policy making and all that you know, the state is a beautiful state. You know, I've seen pictures or videos of Yosemite, how it looks like, you know, now, like after all the, the rain and all that, all the water, the, the waterfalls look just, you know, yeah. everything looks super nice. So it's like, damn, like that's, you know, it's like, yeah, that's why you stay here and you try to, mm-hmm. you know, correct things here. Well, yeah, we were talking about that on the last episode. It's like, do we want to be like everybody else and leave? Um this beautiful weather, you know, the scenery the by the ocean and everything. It's like, hell no. We're yeah. going to take these bad characters out of here. And go away. This is our territory. <laughs> For real. I mean, you know, it, it's funny because, like, I was talking about the that uh, assembly bill that they're, they were discussing a couple of days ago. And the only guy that voted against it, right, was the Republican. And... Just the, the way that he did it was like, yeah, he was, you know, he was making sense what he was saying. But then at the end, he goes, you know, if you care about your kids, leave California. And, uh, you know, 
which is like, like everything was fine, but then that, he's, cause he's like, yeah, he's like, I'm, as soon as I'm, uh, I think he said this was like his 11th term. He's like, when this one's over, he's like, I'm, I'm leaving California. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's pretty, I mean, things are bad, but you, you already know me that uh, it's like, if you're, I'm not optimist then yeah, you know, that's where your mind goes, but no, you know. but you know, uh, another, another thing, right. Which, which you've said before and you know, even more and more, you can see it now. Cause I remember, you know, one of the, when the Bud Light thing first happened, right. I think they were like at 4 billion, like within that week that we first talked about it. And then I think right now they're at, I want to say 27 mm-hmm. billion lost. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's the first time that another beer is the number one selling beer in America. Um, I think it was Modelo or, or something like that. It is but now, we got to make sure it's not a part of the en- Anheuser-Busch family, so, though, is it? <laughs> I looked it up. So it, it's, it's interesting because in America, Modelo is by Constellation. Yeah. But outside of America, it's Anheuser-Busch. So it's kind of it's kind of weird. <laughs> so you know what I mean? It's like that means Pacifico. Yeah, I've, I've been drinking Pacifico. So okay. <laughs> for the same reason, I was like, I saw the same thing that you saw, and I'm like, no, nope, it's in the family, or it could be in the family. I'm like, I'm, I'll go Pacifico. <laughs> it could get misinterpreted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, That's why um, not even uh, Michelob Ultra. I think it's under the same umbrella, mm. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Michelob is. Yeah, I saw that. Mm. So then basically, um, so, you know, they lost a lot of money. Targets lost a lot of money, too. Um, you know, they pulled they pulled back, according to reports, right, they pulled back on some of that LGBT stuff they had. And I think even Starbucks, you know, Starbucks is pretty damn woke. Even they pulled back some of the stuff. So, you know, it's, we'll, we'll see what happens, but I think that kind of stuff shows that, that we are a majority, like, you know, like we've been talking about and. No, you know, I, I know I'm not to be arrogant. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the majority. like when you see that stuff and you, and you just, it just keeps declining and it's like, okay, yeah, it, it mm-hmm. the numbers, you know, the numbers don't lie if you will. So, you know, you got those companies that, that are doing that stuff and, and, you know, it's all a part of the, that whole, what is it? ESG, DEI and all that. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, it's, it's so, how could you put it? It's so dumb. (laughs) All that stuff that, you know, you got the, the, the ESG, right? I think, yeah. So it's basically like an environmental social score, uh, corporate governance score. So like if you're if your company's doing, you know, all the nice woke things, then you're going to have investors invest into your company because, you know, you're you get getting, funded. Like, you get you're funded. Right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's uh, like, OK, so that's why these companies do all this stuff. Right. And then you got the DEI, which is diversity and uh, equity and inclusion. So it's like the more woke you are you know the more people you include all these when when you take full advantage of pride month and all that stuff like your score goes up right it's like a it's like a social credit score basically for companies and it's like the, the more you do to to show your your tolerant you know the the more funding you get and in a sense i don't know if it it seems like it makes it worth it the companies, even though they take these losses, uh, like uh, I don't know why they do it, but it doesn't make sense any way you slice it. Look, you sell a product that's capitalism, you, you, supply and demand, right? Got the supply, people are demanding it, they're purchasing it, and uh, you're making a profit. Okay, what they're trying to do is double dip, mm-hmm. so they're selling the product. They're making the profit and they're going woke and these companies are funding them, right? Or organizations, they're organizations that are funding them, right? Right. So they're getting money both ways. But what they're going to realize is that the real profit 
the sustainable profit is going to come from the consumers. So as they're losing money from the consumers mm -hmm. and they're still getting their funny funding for being woke, it, it's, it's not going to sustain the companies. It's not sustainable. Not and it's a matter of time. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So they think that if they all come together and and push these things at the same time, that they're going to make us fold and we're going to go, okay, you know what? It is what it is. It's new times. We're in the 21st century, 2023, whatever. We have to get with the, the new times, right? Right. That's what they're banking on. And it's not working. It's not going to work because yeah. that model doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. So one question, and this is just my mind, it always goes to the root, is that these company, these foundations that are funding the companies, where are they getting the money from? Hmm. What are these foundations? Um, how are they formed? Who are they formed by? How are they getting their capital to fund these companies? Hmm. No one talks about that. Yeah. Yeah. I was, so was, was going to run up, you know, that money and um, it, it, it's not sustainable. It, it's a losing fight They They may win a battle here, but they're going to lose the war. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 I think uh, what was it? What's that? BlackRock or something like that. Mm -hmm. They own. There's, they own or they have ownership stakes in a lot of these companies. You see, that's what I'm saying is that a these lot. companies are invested as they're <laughs> as they're investing in this it, and they're losing money left and right in every direction. It's it's not sustainable. We're going to win. Our pocketbook is going to win, period. It yeah. always does. Yeah. And it, it always does. And, and like like I said, it should be super evident now to them right that but this is the thing they've known that they they they've gone into this knowing that they're the majority they think they're arrogant they think that by pushing the, whatever they want to push and having the influence that they have with advertising and they think that we have to buy their products you know that we're, we'll be done without their products is, is the arrogance and the reality is we don't need their products. Other companies will come up, we'll switch it up and they'll lose money. Yeah. And they're, they're not going to win this, especially when they start messing with the kids. Look, Target, I went to Target the other day. I didn't want to go in there, but I, we needed to buy something. Mm -hmm. So we stopped by and I was looking around to see if they had their little um, uh, displays and stuff like that. I didn't see anything in the front. So they already lost. Yeah. Okay. They're done. Yeah. I didn't see not one thing. I probably had to walk to the back um, in order to find something, but it wasn't up in the front. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And um, and they got a bomb threat. They were trying to put it on conservatives. The bomb threat came from <laughs> uh, the trans community and stuff like that. It's it's the same. We talk about it all the time. It's the same playbook. And yeah. they end up losing all, every single time. Yeah, and, that, and that's like, you know, obviously a bomb threat is serious, but it just shows you how ridiculous it is that, you know, the they, they paint us as the, the extreme ones that are, you know, going to mm -hmm. get our rifles and, and cause some, some damage. And it's like, dude, like, they get one, one thing that doesn't go their way, and, you know, they're calling in bomb threats. So mm -hmm. it's like, you know, who, who are, the, who are the, the deranged people here? Yeah. Well, it's and they're not emotionally emotionally stable. Yeah. Or you know, they it, decisions aren't made um, rationally. You know, they're all emotion. And when you don't have a good argument, you get even more mad. If mm -hmm. you have a good argument and you win the argument because you know you're pragmatic and you have good points and stuff like that, you don't have to get emotional. You know, it's fact. Yeah. And then. We're standing. We're standing on facts. They're standing on their emotions, and when they can't look us in the eyes, all all they can do is look at us and scream like a crazy ass. And <laughs> we we see those videos all the time. So that's exactly what happens. 
<laughs> no, yeah, that's that's true. They 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 don't have the 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 mental capability, right, to to accept something that differs from from their belief system, and you know, to them, that's like, you know, they can't. How can you put it? They're in their mind. There's no way they can accept that. It doesn't. It doesn't add up. You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. Um, it's simple. They're, they they they're not living in reality. No reality. Um, I don't know if we talked about it. I think uh, it was a more of a, a conversation that we just had, uh, not on a podcast, but I think um, you and I were talking about this and we were talking about how uh, they're not living in a reality. It's like mm-hmm. um, they want free speech, but but I'm not free to express uh, what I want to express. So, for example, if someone... Oh, we we were talking about um, how they changed the language, right? So right. let's say, for example, it's insulting to me that they want to get rid of certain pronouns, right? Or use certain pronouns. In school, mm-hmm. we were talking about, you know, teachers are getting instructions that they have to eliminate certain pronouns and use specific pronouns now, right? Mm-hmm. So that's mm-hmm. offensive to me because I'm a male mm-hmm. and I want to be addressed as one. I don't know. I don't want anybody calling me they or whatever it is. So that's yeah. offensive to me. But if I express that, you know, I'm some sort of intolerant, you know, ignorant fascist. I don't know what. Well, label you get sorry terms. You yeah. know, to use at that time and moment. But the point is that they're 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 asking for love. <laughs> um grace understanding but they're the least graceful understanding yeah they don't they don't see their own the hypocrisy yeah that's exactly what it is so you know we were talking about getting dragged into you know certain things like uh that uh bill that you were talking about that they're you know mm-hmm. seem it, it seems like they're gonna pass it so here in california yeah it seems uh, like and it's like that's the that's the minority in you know passing bills it's not the majority no nah, and it's like you know it, it kind of goes into what you know anthony was saying on the last one it's like that's why people got to focus too on on the local stuff right mm-hmm, yeah and when this stuff happens you know they know they have an idea of how their representative is gonna is gonna vote right um and like I said, there was, there was a lot of people there that were against it. But at the end of the day, man, it's like these legislators, they're just up there and they're just talking to each other. You know what I mean? And it's like all those people that are there. When well, it, we, we were talking about the companies and these organizations. Who do you think um, the legislatures are being approached by? Yeah. Who yeah. are they listening to? The, the people with the money. Right? Citizens, constituents? I don't think so. Yeah. And then it's funny because I think the the lady that's my district, she was one of the ones that was like basically saying it's not clear, but you know, since I know you and you're a, you're a good person and, and you're brave for doing this, you know, I'll vote yes. And it's like, like you know, I think that's the kind of frustrating part locally, like as far as like with mm-hmm. this kind of stuff going on here in California, but you know. It's just you, we got to pay attention to, to to that stuff too when it comes to time to vote. Yeah, but man, this is it's they're they're advancing their agenda at warp speed right now. <laughs> like if you think about it, they're pushing it to the max. They usually push push their agenda inch by inch. Mm-hmm. Right now, they're trying to take like. Yard by yard, you know. <laughs> yeah, and um, and I'm smiling because when they do that, it just exposes everything. Mm-hmm. You're able to see it when it's um, inch by inch. You're like, that's nothing, you know. It's yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. But when they're pushing it so hard, it's evident, and people could see it. And the good thing is. I, I heard about kids taking down 
uh, pride flags and stuff like that in their schools. Remember, and and kids were getting in trouble, and all these woke teachers were crying about it. Yeah, I think they had. There was one school where where they were they were uh, basically, you know, said, "Oh, you know, certain day bring some, you know, wear a rainbow or some sort of pride support." And mm-hmm. a lot of kids showed up in black in, shirts, uh, black American shirts. flag uh, <laughs> shirts. Yeah, yeah. So it's like cool, you know, and and then. And that, and that shouldn't even be a story, you know what I mean? Like, like they, they're they're the American flag. Like, why is that offensive? We're yeah, because they're not following their but, rules. Yeah, they're not they're not falling in line with their their agenda, right? And like you said, it's like, and they're and they're they're taking as much as they possibly can, and it's a lot, you know, back to back to back to back, and it, it's like it's like they have no uh, no self control. It's like they're just they're just going for it, you know. And again, it's like like this might have been like the first or second episode when when you were talking about, you know, the unethical people are the ones that rise up, and you know, these companies, these corporations that are pushing all this stuff, you know, it's, it's not these aren't ethical people in power. So you know, that you that's, gotta think about it. The the companies like uh. uh Anheuser Busch, uh, Target, Starbucks, um, and all the other little, well, big companies that have gone work or try to go woke. Um, their CEOs and founders and all that stuff, like the original ones, aren't there anymore. You know, so mm-hmm. they really don't care about the the name, the brand, or whatever. So. What's it to them? And, you know, if they if the company bust, they bust. You know, how many times do we hear about a new CEO being appointed here, a new CEO being appointed over there? Mm-hmm. It's like they don't care, man. It's they're getting their pockets lined by other people. There's all these uh, ex politicians that go into these uh, corporate companies and become it's CEOs FBI. and all. Yeah, FBI agents, <laughs> stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So. This this is nothing. Yeah. And, and you know, it's like all this stuff happens and, and it's like, yeah, I start thinking, it's like, okay, what are they distracting us from? You know? Because like this stuff is all over the place, right? Like I was telling you about the like people, you know, a lot of conservatives sharing the 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 guy that was at the White House at that pride event and you know. Mm-hmm. This whole chess thing, and it's like you know, everyone's promoting it and feeding into it. To me, that's that's a distraction, right? Uh, that's how I look at that. And then when I see like all those people sharing it, it's like, good bro, you're you're you're, you're you know, all you're doing is feeding into it. Mm-hmm. Um, and and you know, there's there's other things going on, right? Because I I think it was like the the whole biden um i think that they have some sort of proof that he at least got five million right payment that they had the audio recordings um, yeah um hunter and um i mean that they that's only one document so, mm-hmm. you know that um that proves or that the fbi has it was an investigation and there's whistleblowers involved in that they took a bribe of five million each and there's audio recording of it and stuff like that so and that's just one i think another is it another congressman was it grassley i don't know i don't remember i think it was grassley he he verified there's other documents Mm -hmm. aside from that one so i think he's he's talking talking about the tape recordings too or the audio recordings I think it was grassy. Yeah, but on those documents, it stated that there was audio recording on it. Mm-hmm. So that's wow. why it's like all all together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, and I think, you know, it because it's like to me, and like that's that's what they're they're doing with the Trump thing too, right? To distract from this Biden thing, because it's like the timing of it to me was like 
you know, they started talking about the, um, what was it? The FBI, right? Didn't initially want to give that document over. Um, the one yeah, that uh, the, the Ray didn't, Ray, the director didn't want to hand it over. Yeah. And, and, then, and then they handed it over. And then like the next day or, you know, or so, then they announced they're going to indict Trump again. So it's like the timing of it. It's like you got this real hard evidence, you know, or, or what do you call it? How would you put it? Um, well, there, it's a document of an investigation yeah. into the Biden uh, shell companies and corruption. Let's just say corruption. Yeah. Okay, you got a document that the FBI has that they were conducting an investigation on the Biden's corruption. Mm -hmm. And the um, Congress was um, subpoena. They, they put a subpoena out for these documents, you know, with the FBI. The director, uh, Ray, didn't want to hand it over. When he did hand it over, it was heavily redacted. It was all blacked out. I can imagine the majority was all black, right? Yeah. So uh, one of the congressmen referenced something that was in the document that was already blacked out meaning that he had already read the un um, redacted document mm. so he knew the truth so there's people that know the truth so when that happened they go okay well and then they threatened that they were gonna um um you know like press charges or something like that on, yeah, on right ray. huh hold ray in contempt yeah there you go that yeah. they were gonna hold them in contempt so at that last hour he decides to hand it over and after that, you know, more and more documents are coming out and stuff like that, that the, uh, the FBI had. So there's it, it's basically just showing that the FBI, CIA, all these other um, three letter agencies, um, federal agencies are being <laughs> manipulated and used uh, as a weapon, you know, yeah. political. And that's kind of like where we were talking about in other episodes. This is communism. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Because, I mean, how, how else are you supposed to take where they're indicting the, what do you call it, the, the opposition, right? Basically, the, the, the main political opposition. The You're supposed to, you know, it's the other parties, the political opposition. Mm -hmm. So, what, if you go up against the 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 political party in power you're you're gonna get indicted you're going to be censored you're going to be arrested mm -hmm. uh so let's take hillary uh clinton for an example she got caught with classified documents and uh, unsecure server mm -hmm. um and people that didn't have uh classified clearance were handling the server and it was being you know, it, it had no security, so anybody could go into it. They could hack it. Um, they destroyed devices, bleach bit, like physically destroyed devices. Mm -hmm. um, of subpoenaed uh, thirty-three thousand, I think it is emails, um, and nothing happened to her. No, because Comey, what did he say? There was no, uh, there was no intent. No ill will or ill intent or malicious it's, intent it's so stupid because like you know trump literally has the had the power to declassify those with just like saying it or i think even, even if he thought it technically he's got the power to declassify anything so you know it's like you know you got you got this all, all this stuff with biden and and these these investigations that the fbi had that you know basically they're keeping quiet um, they're not wanting to talk about, and then you have them indicting Trump for classified documents that technically he could have. Well, we can't even say that they were classified. They were un he said they were unclassified. Yeah. They're unclassified. How are they? How are they going to prove that he didn't just say hey, they're declassified? Mm -hmm. You don't have to record it. There's no paper when you got to fill out. It's just if the president decides they're declassified, they're declassified. Mm -hmm. Like that power, so it's like it's so it's so dumb that they're they're going after this right, and not Biden. And when it came to Hillary, even though they had all that evidence, also nothing. 
So yeah, like you said, it, it's like communism, right? Because it's it's the justice department, but for a certain political party, a certain political group, you know what I mean? And I don't know. Um, have you seen any of, of Tucker's videos he's been doing on Twitter? No, I haven't. Mm -mm. Uh, that, there's one, the one he did, he, he just pulled one out like literally like right before, right now. Uh, but the one he did, uh, I want to say yesterday uh, or the day before, um, it was pretty good. Uh, it's it's 13 minutes long. Uh, I have it. I don't know if you want, to, want me to play it and then you want to react to it, but I thought it was a good one. What is it about or what? He's just talking about how, uh, how the, how could you put it, the elite, basically, on both sides, how they're doing all this stuff on Trump because he was pointing out truths to the mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And it's like truths that those people, those elites, don't want out. Well, no. Remember when Trump said that some power, powerful people are going to come after him? Yeah. Okay, so right when he said that, it was the pharmaceutical companies. You pay attention to the people that speak up against the pharmaceutical companies. I think I believe Carl uh, Tucker Carlson did that, mm -hmm. and that's why they went after him. It's mm -hmm. like there's certain people that you just don't go after. So I think um, he made some medications very inexpensive. Afford he made them affordable. Yeah. And um, of, of course, they don't want that. The right to try thing too. The right to try, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I, I don't. That that should be something like all the time. Mm -hmm. and why why would why would that not be a thing? And so, yeah, I mean, Trump has been saying that for for a long time. There's a speech that the that they refer to the the speech that got him elected. Mm -hmm. You know, he talks about corruption. He talks about the swamp. Mm -hmm. um, he talks about the deep state. So, yeah, you know, these people um, got into all the positions of power in the government in all the different branches, man. Yeah, all the way from, um, you know, the people talk about, you know, corporate America and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There's an old movie from the 70s. It's called The Network. And it talks about, okay, people are sick and tired of, you know, the BS, you know, that we're going through right now. I mean, we're pretty tolerant, you know, we're pretty, we're, we're like, we're soft, you know, it's like, we allow a lot of stuff that we shouldn't allow to happen yeah. nowadays, but even back then, like in the 70s, people were sick and tired of the government getting into their lives. It's like, you know, you got a government supposed to be small. We don't need a big government to run a country or a state, um, a republic, period. So, in that movie, it just shows that all these corporate companies are in control of everything. So you take the pharmaceutical companies and um, with all the money that they make, they're, they're not making millions. They're making billions, if not trillions. So they've got a lot of um, money to throw around and, you know, they've got deep pockets to buy pretty much everybody. So, you know, they're just positioning people in in all different federal positions mm -hmm. um so so the swamp is deep and it's wide and yeah. you know but trump's got the balls to take them on i guess so yeah and then you know and it's funny too because you know talking about tucker right now it's like he's, he's posting these videos on twitter Right, because obviously Fox doesn't have his show no more. But you know, even Fox is trying to. I think they they told, they send him a cease and desist. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Mm -hmm. like, bro, he's just on his Twitter. Just you know what I mean? That's like us doing this right now. We got our accounts. We post it up, and this you know mm -hmm. is it shouldn't be beholden to any company, you know. And yeah, they're they're trying to. I think his contract goes through twenty twenty five, so. Mm -hmm. They, they literally want to keep Tucker quiet until after the elections, you know? Yeah. And, you know, uh, you know, Fox News is just, it, they, they, they're definitely, they lost a lot of credibility 
you know. Uh, in my opinion, they never had any. Yeah, they, Tucker, Tucker, Tucker had was credibility. Only, That's yeah. it. Fox yeah. didn't have credibility. Tucker Tucker. Did. Yeah. yeah, and then that was that's lit. That was like the only when when I I wouldn't watch it all the time, but when when I would watch Fox is because I was gonna watch Tucker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they they're they're trying to they're trying to shut them up for you know this next this whole, this whole election cycle, which is like all right. That's what I was gonna say. It's look at the timing. Yeah. It's like they don't care right after an election. You do what you do. Yeah, they, you it's know true. they wanna. They want to shut Tucker up until 2025. And then they obviously want to have Trump in all kinds of legal battles up until that point, too. So it's like it's 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 obvious. It's plain to see, you know, what they're doing Their Mm -hmm. their little playbook there. And it kind of goes back to what I was saying about the the trans movement, you know, with pushing it in schools, stores and anything that you can think of. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's the same thing right now is that it, it, election year and, you know, indictments start rolling around, all kinds of <laughs> different things start happening. Uh, UFOs start showing up, you know, <laughs> got all kinds of UFO stuff going on and uh, their patterns, you know, we talk about it all the time. They, they're evident. They're right there. Mm-hmm. And um, people could see them now straight up. Yeah. You look at all these different polls and stuff like that. And, um, you know, more and more people, uh, I think I heard 53% of Americans believe that um, um, the Bidens are are um, blackmailed or bribed or something like that. Oh, okay. Any, so let's just say it. compromised. Yes. So aside from compromised, corrupt. It's what it boils down to. So 53%. And I think that's probably low. But then again, it goes into, right, that's that's more than the majority. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, you know, it's, I, I think it's, I don't know, man. Like, when it comes to the presidential election next year, I mean, like Trump said, right, if it's an honest election, I don't see any way Trump loses. Mm-hmm. It's Biden or anybody. I don't, you know, if for some reason it's not Trump, which I doubt, but let's say for some reason it's not Trump. I don't, whoever runs against Biden should be able to win because, you know, we're seeing what's going on, right? As far as their their policies, all this other communistic type of things that they're doing, uh, his health, you know, it, it's, it's not... It's not a good look. And I think, like you said, people are, are realizing that kind of stuff. You know, I see when you see those videos of like, you know, random people getting asked questions on the on the street, you know, like Biden or Trump. And then you see a lot of people that you <laughs> wouldn't think are going to say Trump, start, you know, say Trump. Or they'll say, yeah, I voted for Biden last time, but nah, they say it, you know, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like that's that's kind of what in my mind it's like, yeah, that's reality to me. People, yeah. people. Even the ones that voted for Biden, obviously, you know, you, you live day to day, right? You, you buy your groceries, your gas and all that stuff. And just even with those little those little things, it's like so simple to see the, the huge difference in quality of life. So, you know, I think that I don't know. I think I'm one of those rare people that I if it wasn't for cheating so many years i would say i don't know past 30 i don't know probably even more i mean the cheating has gotten more and more sophisticated the cheating and the manipulation yeah um california used to be red people don't understand that california used to be red Mm -hmm. and um if it wasn't for cheating they just it it would still be red it would have stayed red there's we are the majority. I'll keep saying it over and over and over. Um, we talked about it in another episode. The Democrats of the 60s, uh, early 70s are not the same Democrats. They don't have the same values that the Democrats of today have. So everything, the whole landscape has changed. So it, um, I remember, um, you know, Democrats still had like, 
you know, values like, uh, you know, marriage and, and stuff like that. And nowadays it's almost like, you know, they promote, you know, single parents and being broken up and, you know, uh, men and women doing whatever they want and hooking up and not really trying to accomplish, you know, having a, uh, like a wholesome family type of, you know, lifestyle. So it's just, everything's different. People need to really look at that landscape out there and, uh, and, and see where they fit in. Mm -hmm. If, if, you know, Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I had seen because you're kind of talking about how the Democrats are, are different then to now, right? Um, but I had seen something about I want to say I'll try to look it up. It was like over forty percent of Democrats that were polled um, think the the indictment is politically uh, Trump's indictment is is based on you know. It's got mm-hmm. it's got political, what do you call it? Motivated, basically, mm-hmm. and it's like, you know, that's to have your own base think that that that's you it's know, bad. You're, it's you're bad. bad. You're you're messing up, mm-hmm. and and but, but it, that's how that's how evident it is. You know, everybody that's that's in a competition, whether it's like a sport or politics or whatever Mm -hmm. you know you want to have if you're decent you want to have a fair shot have the facts out there and 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 win the right way Mm -hmm. yeah with corrupt people they don't give a flying you know what so they're gonna cheat their asses off and uh you know they try to do it in 2016 um it it didn't it didn't work out Mm mm-hmm uh, they they still did. He would have won by a wider margin, it, um, if if they wouldn't have cheated. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, twenty twenty. Hmm? I said twenty twenty. They went for it. Oh, dude, twenty twenty, the pandemic, mail in ballots, uh, ballot harvesting. Uh, they did the whole movie about the the mules, um, the way that they were just dropping off ballots. Mm-hmm. There's so many stories about a bunch of ballots being found and it, you know, I talk, I hear people talking about voting and, you know, going out there and, and um, getting their name out and stuff like that. It's like, look, man, I appreciate that and everything. But if you don't talk about the cheating, you're doing a disservice to yourself because I could, I could, you know, do the same thing mm-hmm. and, and put all my efforts into it. But if I don't acknowledge that there's cheating out there and so that something needs to be done about the cheating, mm-hmm. I'm just wasting my breath and I'm wasting my time and everybody else's time that's supporting me mm-hmm. and money. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's true. you know, there's there's a lot there's a lot of good things that are happening. Let's talk about the good things that are happening. So there's a lot of court cases that are going on in uh, counties and states where they're not going to allow uh, mail-in ballots. So mm-hmm. that's one way that they're going to cheat. They're talking about not using the Dominion uh, voting uh, machines. Okay, mm-hmm. so that that's another win. If, if you don't know the Dominion out there, people, is the Dominion voting machines are used like in places like in Valenzuela, Brazil, and um, all kinds of different corrupt uh, little countries and stuff like that. Yeah, where so, like get uh, manipulated. The yeah. Yeah. So, and it's the same pattern. It's like, you know, all the polls that are out there are saying that, you know, uh, someone is going to win and, and, and they are winning up until a certain point. And guess what? Then they take a break Mm -hmm. and then, um, they, they start tabulating and looking how many votes they have to, um, acquire the machines are programmed. They're, they're already in some of these court cases, they're coming out and saying that, yes, you know, there was people manipulating, uh, the codes and stuff like that uh, to tabulate the votes. So then you wake up the following morning and go, what the hell happened? This person was up and all of a sudden there was like a hockey stick just, you know, went straight up where the other person and yeah. the other person just stayed right here. But the other person just skyrocketed over. Straight line up. It, it's 
Forget uh, hockey stick. It's freaking just you know a wall straight up. So if we don't acknowledge that, you, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, you know, I think it's like yeah, you gotta, you definitely gotta speak up about that. You you definitely gotta, you know, if you're if you're running, you you gotta bring that to light and keep it in focus because, like you're saying, if you don't, they're just gonna cheat on you and and. It's not even going to be on nobody's mind. So you got to you gotta let it be known that, you know, this stuff is happening. And, you know, maybe people will be more focused on it, pay more attention. Because, you know, when you go vote, when you go to the polls or whatever, shit, you might see something that looks sketchy. And that, you know what I mean? You might call it out then and there. But if nobody's talking about it, you're not looking for it, you know? And like you said, you're just wasting time. And, and I just think in general, like, you know, I just think... I don't know. It, I think we're, we're Republicans got to be a little tougher, you know. Like, how can I put it? It's like remember we were watching the debate with Newsom, mm-hmm. and there was moments where we're like, you know, like say this, like this is the perfect time to say this, this, whatever, right, to rebut whatever Newsom was saying, and, and like he didn't, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's a, that's why I think that's why. Trump, his style is is liked because he'll say what he needs to say in that moment. He's not going to let the person just get away with the lie. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Just just in the moment when you're there and it's like if someone's lying or, or saying something completely ridiculous, I think you they know got- what we're forgetting, though, is this is that there's rhinos. So, yeah. you know, before Trump. You know, I deep down my values were, you know, on the conservative side, Mm -hmm. but we didn't have any conservatives in politics representing it. They were all rhinos. Mm -hmm. It was a a double headed snake. And that's what it was. Bush, you might as well have been a freaking communist. You know, it's like, you you know, dictator. Yeah. Um, So. The fact that he 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 ran as a Republican and he was a re, uh, president as a Republican and didn't help anything, mm-hmm. and I was like, at that stage of my life, I was like, these these two parties are garbage. They're the same. Mm-hmm. They're they're not Republicans. They're and they're not Democrats. They're they're something else. I don't know what they call themselves behind doors, but that's what they get called. They call us dumbasses because we fought we fall for it or fell for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now you've got someone that actually has a backbone and and speaks their mind. That's why Mm -hmm. is because he's not part of that, that snake. Yeah. And then that's what they do to all the other people too, that, that are speaking up that aren't. It's controlled opposition. It's controlled opposition. Yeah. Damn. Uh, I don't know. You know, it's because you hear people say, it's like, yeah, we need a new party. Or something, because yeah, the, yeah, yeah. But then at the same time, I would listen to you know who's starting the party, who's going to be in charge of the party. It's mm-hmm. like you know another. Okay, so instead of a double-headed uh, uh, snake or dragon, we're going to have a three-headed one. So yeah, you got yeah. another one that's going to eventually get corrupted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just gotta, you know, people. Hey, look, forget the parties. People just need to. If you can speak up if you're a conservative and you have conservative values then make the republican leadership be you, you know represent you mm-hmm. that's it yeah or be or you know or shit be a <laughs> you know run or, or do something you know what i mean like if or find find somebody that's going to run that you know you know well, yeah that's what i mean is that you, we have to support the right people yeah. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. sniff out the the phonies, yeah. the commies, it's no. like, like, and, and not support them. Yeah, no, for sure. You know what's a good uh, example? It's kind of like um, what we're doing with our money right now with Bud Light, Target, mm-hmm. Starbucks, or I mean, Starbucks kind of backed up before they even got started. They took down all their stuff, but um, it's kind of like what we're doing with our money. You know, it's like, it, but it's a matter of support. You know? Yeah. Like if we don't. But it, it, see, the tricky part about that is if we don't go out and support them, then 
they they win the elections even easier. Mm. So we we it's a matter of us supporting the correct uh, yeah. candidates. But then how do you get the correct candidate? Yeah. So yeah, well there there's that right and and you know that is a good question because I mean well like okay let, let's like the example of uh, Peter right mm -hmm. so you got Peter and then you have the lady that's in there I forget I think her name is Zoe Lofgren she's been there for years you know when it comes to those two yeah Peter is the 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 right candidate right in, in my in my view mm -hmm. um, and it's like okay. I don't know if a lot of people don't know him. I mean, I know in, in, in his city, like, you know, he was in city, I think city council and all that stuff. Right. <clears throat> um, but like now you're, you're expanding a whole Santa Clara County into it. And it's like, you know, it's like, how do you get those people in Santa Clara to listen to Peter or to hear, you know, what Peter has to say? Um, because, you know, in that example, Santa Clara County, you know, super, controlled by a lot of liberals, right? Um, they have probably doesn't make it harder for someone like Peter to get any kind of, how could you put it? Any kind of, uh, going blank. Support. Any support or anything like that, right? And any spotlight because, you know, definitely not going to give it to him there unless the people start doing it, right? So, you know. Well, yeah, that is kind of our responsibility is look at the candidates. So, mm -hmm. you know, do a little bit of research, see what they're about, stuff like that. And, and that's the thing, too. It's like they don't have honest, like, like debates and stuff like that, right? Like where, where people from that entire district can tune in one day and you have, you know, not just in you know in in general in any in any in any election like you need to have like legit like if they're gonna have debates like have legit debates you know because we saw that with the trump thing too it's like trump was debating biden and the three moderators like at every single one it was like four mm -hmm. against one so it's like that's not legit you know we need legit debates where the people that are gonna vote for these representatives, have them both talking to each other. You know what I mean? Or, or speaking, not necessarily talking to each other, but but backing up their ideas. You know, mm -hmm. so that everybody can hear them. So if you're hearing, for example, Peter and the other lady talk, and then he's like, "Well, Peter's got some ideas that make more sense." Mm -hmm. You know, but they don't. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't do that stuff. Just, I think you have to get creative, though. You have to get creative. Is if um, how do you um, <laughs> let's take a fighter's uh, approach? Is like how do you sell a fight? <laughs> right. Yeah. You get yeah. You get creative. You got to get creative. If I'm trying to you know pull someone out and make some ruckus, sometimes mm -hmm. you know um, you know Trump is really good at doing that. He pulls <laughs> I, that just reminded me of a clip that i saw he put um um biden falling on stage and he put a clip right after him um swinging the golf driving up golf <laughs> and stuff like that i mean he's got the funds to do it so he's got an advantage there but i mean what does it really take to do something like that do you see what i'm saying yeah, like yeah. if if <clears throat> Let's say using today's technology, we were talking about that on the last episode, right? Mm -hmm. Is that if I'm running and uh, we're in the 21st century with all this social media and all these different type of platforms, mm -hmm. you know, in order for you to get out there, something has to go uh, viral, right? Right. So, you know, how do people go and get viral? People are freaking going through TikTok, Instagram and doing all kinds of stuff like that, right? So it's one of those things where you just get, you know, maybe a clip of, you know, your opponent or something like that. And, you know, they they have a little slip up where they're telling the truth. And mm -hmm. then you, you know, you go in there and you give your opinion. Um, you did something that was very clever like that is like someone was saying um, um, that they haven't arrested 
um, terrorists, was it, that they haven't arrested terrorists on the southern, or they've arrested more terrorists in the southern border oh, since yeah. Biden has been president, but the dumbass never thought that the border was secure, so there was no terror, there was really no terrorists to be arrested at yes. the border when Trump was president. And it's 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 creative things like that that you have to go out there and you have to kind of throw them, you know. And yeah. I was hoping that guy would respond, but he didn't. I no, I mean, well, what can, what can you possibly say to that? You know, I know that. that's why it's like I wanted to see what could he possibly say, which is like you know. And I think I titled that video "Gaslighting 101" because it's like, bro, like you're trying to spin it into a positive. It's like. There was no terrorist to catch. That was the bigger positive thing before. And it's like, you know. But All you need to do is put the gangster um, the glasses. glasses on with the chain and the freaking song. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I mean, it, the this the whole, like you said, the whole social media thing, like it's, you know, it's it's possible. It's like you got to you gotta figure it out. Um, you know, it, it's like. For example, like I, I posted, uh, I posted three clips from from uh, when Anthony was on, right? And the last clip I posted, because like when you when you're you know when you do these reels and all that, like you could put music like background music in it, right? And then so if you see the the the, the song, it, there's like a little arrow kind of like sideways pointing up, right? So it's kind of letting you know, hey, this sound is trending. Oh, okay. So so reels with this sound get more visibility. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna use one of these 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 sounds that you know is quote unquote trending. So and it's like, yeah, you 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 gotta figure it out because that clip, that's like the most watched clip that I have on on that account. It was uh it was 8,000 views and it's like, you know, 230 likes, like to me like this, again, it's like, that's the biggest, uh, the most views I had. And, and it's like, okay, the sound you have to, there's, there's different ways to get around their algorithms too. Mm -hmm. on social media. Mm -hmm. And it's like, they basically give you the, the answer there. Right. But like, you got to know that it's like, okay, so. You know, like like now when like you said, if you're using technology, the social media to your advantage. Okay, so you know, okay, even if I have that sound really low, it's gonna be in that trending thing because mm -hmm. tagged to this video. Yes. So even if you don't even hear the sound, it's gonna you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It'll populate it into that trending trending uh sound algorithm. Yeah. Algorithm. So mm -hmm. you know, it's it's that that's one way for sure using these kind of platforms and, and all that um and and another thing too is a lot of these people are really nice um yeah. and the reality is you have to be a little bit cutthroat you know it's like if you're yeah. you're showing your opponent i mean like you don't have to be disrespectful um you know to get your point across Mm -hmm. but you do have to go into the trenches. I mean, you can't, it's, it's a competition, you know what I mean? And it's like, if you don't go into a competition with tenacity, you know, it's like, I remember, you know, being a game and you just like, you, you, you've got to get pumped up. Yeah, you've got to yeah. go, you know, I'm going to beat this person, you know, I'm going to. Yeah, like, like you said, right. Like a fight. Like you're, you're I'm a, I'm going to knock this person out. Like, you know, I'm going to win mm -hmm. this fight. This is, this is my fight. And you gotta, and you've gotta show it. You know, you can't just be nice. You're gonna get knocked out. You being nice, you know. Gavin Newsom in, in that debate, he, he he wasn't holding back. He was, yeah. he, he was the fighter. Yeah, that was just like sitting back and you know being rocky in the beginning you know, of the fight. <laughs> all the punches. <laughs> yeah, but you know, Rocky never got the opportunity to come out and you know takes you know the swings. Well, he's not a Rocky. Yeah. You know, you gotta be a Rocky. So you gotta be you gotta be Jorge Masvidal against Ben Askren. <laughs> yeah. Just, just really throw that knee right away. <laughs> knock his head off. You know what I'm saying? And then he punched the and literally, dude, and literally, <laughs> literally, 
freaking Jorge is that, <laughs> you know, he's out there speaking the truth and everything, and people yeah. love him. Yeah. And he ain't holding back. What what backlash? Exactly. Yeah, I think, you know, like, like you said, we were the majority. The, those guys get way more support than hate, I'm sure. And it's they like... Get, they, don't, they get all kinds of support. They get all kinds of love. It's like, speak the truth. Don't be afraid to speak the truth. Yeah. So, you know, um, uh, we had some company and they were from Mexico and um, the guy, this guy's from Mexico City and he showed me a, a video of things that happen in, in Mexico mm-hmm. and man, it's horrifying. You yeah. know, it, it, it's really bad and it kind of puts things into perspective. You know, there's a lot of um, bad things going on and it, it came to my mind is that we can't allow these bad people to just run around and do all the evil things that they do. We've got to stop them, man. Yeah. We, yeah. we seriously have to stop them. We've got to do something about that. We've got to wake up. We've got to really talk to our kids, not get distracted with all this BS going, or, uh, going around uh, us on a daily basis. There's a lot of ugliness going on and we've got to be the fighters. You know, the good people have to be the fighters. Um, it kind of reminded me, I don't know why it sparked that in what we were talking about right now of, you know, uh, being tenacious, you know, being, you know, aggressive, but in the right way, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And, um, taking the fight to them, we can't just sit back and take all the punches anymore. So I think that's one of the things that, you know, you kind of touched on it is that, uh, Trump uh, uh, attracts that support uh, because of that. He he doesn't sit back. Look, just just listen to what I'm gonna tell you right now. He's talking about when he becomes president again in 2024. He's gonna he's gonna create a committee that's going to investigate the CDC and all these different uh, medical uh, associations as to why they haven't come up with a. Um, cures in i don't want to sound like i'm exaggerating but let's just say in the past 30 years Mm. but it's been longer than that i think it was 50 but i'm just going to say 30 so it doesn't sound like i'm exaggerating so allow that to enter you know your brain and think about it they have not come up with cures Mm -hmm. it's it's been medicine that hasn't cured it just you know kind of uh medicates you but it's not it, it's not a cure nah they're just and treating with, symptoms huh they're just treating symptoms yeah they that cause more symptoms yeah so, <laughs> more side effects exactly so he's talking about this mm-hmm. and he's throwing it out there for us to hear and to listen it's mm-hmm. something that we don't always think about I didn't realize that. I didn't realize, oh, you know, they, they haven't, you know, all those brilliant minds haven't come up with any, um, mm. um, you know, solutions to cancer or, you know, a type of disease or something like that, a cure. They haven't come up with a cure. And he's throwing it out there, you know, and, um, you know, kids' health is really bad these days if you compare it to, you know, mm-hmm. uh, the past. And think about it. We're in the 21st century. You know, we rave about all the technology that we have. Now they have palm readers where, you know, in Japan or China or even in the States now at Starbucks, at some specific Starbucks, you know, it's reading your palm and you can pay now. Instead of your uh, tap your card, now it's like your palm. Guess which one it is. It's your right palm. So. You know, we have all this technology, but, but, but we can't come up with cures. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, because, you know, these pharmaceutical companies, there's no money in a cure. Exactly. They, they keep you sick. They keep you sick. They give you, like I said, like you said, it's, it's to treat a symptom that creates even more symptoms. And now you need this with this. And you just, they just add more and more you know, medication or, or mm-hmm. whatever into your body. Um, you know, that's why the whole opioid thing, right? Got really bad because you had all these these companies just 
you know, here, take this, take this, take this. Well, what was the deal with Kobe that um, days before the the crash, uh -huh. he was suing a company that was lacing um, some sort of product with uh, opioids to get him hooked on it? I don't know if it's a conspiracy theory. I mean, most conspiracy theories become conspiracy facts anyways, but um, I kind of saw that floating around. But he, he was suing. Wait. Let's see. Trying to see if I could find anything. On there. Do, do, do. He was suing one company because they were using the Black Mamba thing. But let me see. No, I can't. I can't find anything. He's just talking about the the lawsuit that uh his family won after the mm -hmm. crash. But I had. I'm pretty sure I had heard something like that too. Um, that that uh yeah, a supplement or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Had in it. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> it just goes to show you is that, you know, talk about a fighter. You know, we need more people like that. But, you know, okay, here, the optimist in me again, here we go, is that how many politicians like uh, Paulina Rubio and stuff like that, you know, that actually had the guts to, you know, censure, try to censure uh, shit and, you know, for in what was it 16 million dollars you know lawsuit or something like that or, or fine whatever you want to call it uh ultimately it sounds like it's not going to go through but you know what it's a good example is people standing up and being that fighter it's like hey you know what you're going to do something like that again i'm coming after you mm -hmm. you know and maybe i'm going to gain a little bit more support because this is the first time we go after you we put it out there everybody's seeing it it's catching a little bit of media and uh, do that again and see yeah. what happens. And I think they're doing that again right now with um, um, someone that's uh, straight up lying, just like how Schiff was after one of these, you know, committees in one of these committees. Mm -hmm. And they're already putting that person on blast. So imagine if um, she didn't do that. Right. Yeah. yeah. This person that's doing it now, you know, calling this this person in the community out would they have the guts to do it or are they are they encouraged and you know mm -hmm. doing it because she had the courage to do it mm. yeah yeah you know yeah Jim Jordan, the, the way that he goes after people yeah you know uh gets you know uh there, there, there's there's a lot of them now as as before there were there were all freaking rhinos there was no one there yeah no and that's the thing too and it's like i think we talked about it before where it's like all all of those ones that are really like fighting and, and or, or speaking up and, and doing all this stuff like you have the rhinos and and you know democrats making these people seem like they're the crazy ones because they're speaking out on things right and then obviously the the media is going to do what it's going to do and 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 run with that and make these people look like they're crazy right make marjorie taylor green look like she's crazy lauren bolbert anna paulina matt gates byron donalds like all these people like they're you know i feel like yeah they're they're actually representing the people that voted for them you know they really are and just imagine the type of support that they're going to be getting in the future oh yeah and and the 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 and what they're encouraging too mm -hmm. so that that's got a domino effect that's got a a, a ripple effect to it you know mm -hmm. people are gonna you know um have the courage they're gonna be those fighters exactly fighters are gonna stand up they're gonna come up so i you know going i always say this uh you know the optimist in me you know that's that's what i see yeah, so, yeah. you know yeah. Some of the people that we've talked to on the podcast, you know, these people are encouraged, you know, they're encouraging other people. Yeah. Um, hopefully we're encouraging other people and stuff like that. So it's like it, it 
dude, we're gonna lose. It grows, yeah, and mm-hmm. it, it 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 makes a change, right? You know, and you know we have you know, the elections in our next year, so you know there's there's time to if people aren't already kind of waking up, you know, there's still there's still time to wake them up, um, and you know, and that's why like you know what we do, what uh, especially what Anthony's doing, you know, Luca. Yeah, like all these people we talk to, Peter, um, you know, they're they're trying to do their part too. So, you know, there's more, there's more and more people, like you're saying, that mm. are gonna rise up and and you know say enough is enough, you know, and, and it's good to see that, you know, the the parents, right? When it comes to those those school protests, like you know, parents are getting up and getting out. Mm. And the parents, not only the parents, the kids, they they're stepping up. They're like, you want pride colors? I'm gonna come with my American flag shirt tomorrow. Yeah, this is my this is my pride flag, right? Um, yeah, and and you know, it, it's it's people are, are are gonna stand up because they like you said they they're trying to take all these yards, right? And, and we're not having that. Yeah. And they have again they goes, have, they have no self control. It goes back to the same thing that saying. So some people would consider this tough times, right? Mm-hmm. We're going into some tough times as conservatives. T- tough times create strong men. So they are with you know making it tougher for us, they're mm-hmm. creating stronger people. Go ahead, bring it. Yeah, 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 exactly right. Yeah, we're ready to roll. <laughs> so, it's yeah, no oh, man. Uh, there's, there's. I can't follow that up. That's that's true, hundred percent. You know, more strong people are gonna be made through this, and and you see it happening. You see it happening, and you know they, yeah, they, they should be worried. I think that's why they're doing all this BS because they see it. They see it coming. They see it coming. Yeah, but they ain't gonna break us down. Hell no. Nope. Cool. Well, did we cover everything pretty much? I think so. All right. Oh, just, you know, Trump can still run for presidency in case you didn't. (laughs) Yeah. In case you're wondering, he could still (laughs) run. Because, you know, like you were saying before, I think that's the main reason. That's the main thing they're trying to do is stop him from running. But uh, whatever, whatever indictments and trials and all that that they've thrown at him this past just this year alone right yeah is none of that's gonna stop him from running for president what what was that ag's name people don't even remember his name anymore that was trying to get him in new york come on new york oh man i forgot his name now too you see (laughs) oh man everybody was tripping it's like nope yeah that's that's a whole nother nothing too just and it's funny though, because I think that one was 37 counts. Uh and then the one the 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 one for the classified documents was also 37 counts. Yeah. So uh in, I don't know, interesting, I guess. Alvin Bragg. There you go. <laughs> that was his name. That guy. <laughs> that, <laughs> that outstanding citizen. <laughs> I think he's gonna end up freaking and die. He's actually gonna go freaking prison. Watch, <laughs> just like uh, what was that lawyer's name? Avenetti or yeah. Avenatti? Ended up in prison. Mm-hmm. Jeez, but now, man. I mean, like you said, right there, there, there's a lot of stuff that, that that goes on, but there's a lot of good stuff, you know, coming out of it too, and that's gonna come out of it, and you know. Like you said, it'll it'll make people a little stronger. Uh, I think it'll definitely unite people more because you know even when you use those those protests, it's like you know you have people that are Christians and people that are Muslims, you know. Oh yeah, you just but, united them. They were protesting together. Yep. Those Armenians were trying to beat. Were they trying to beat up people? <laughs> they were ready to go. They were ready to go. They. 
you know that that was the thing too about that it's like dude like these armenian people they got their u.s flags and all that and then you got these other people these damn uh, these <laughs> dude you're just you're you're just poking at the bear yeah yeah you're poking at the bear right you know these ungrateful americans right that'll mm-hmm. probably lecture you about fucking immigration and how you know you're being a bigot for wanting border security but they're ungrateful there saying death to America and, and all that crap. It's like, dude, you know, I would, it's like, yeah, I'd keep that Armenian here and I'd ship your ass out somewhere else. Like, yeah, go. Send your ass to Armenia. Yeah, go, fool. Trade places. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, you know, it's all talk, right? It's all talk. Yeah. You know, that's why they show up in their helmets, face masks, mm-hmm. you know, they, they, cowards, cowards. The day they show up to to a protest with no helmets, no face masks, yeah, then they yeah. know they're about it. But they they they're little bitches. Yeah. <laughs> it's the truth. Yeah. yeah, it is. But cool. All right then. Well, we hope you enjoyed that one. Um, and you know we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep uh, trying to wake people up. We got. We got plenty of time. And like Danny says, time reveals the truth, right? So Yeah. Yeah. More yeah. truths are coming out every day, every minute, every second. Right. You can't um you can delay the truth, but you can't stop it. It's the truth is always there. Yep. One hundred percent. Yeah, thanks for tuning in and you know, we'll catch you on the next one. The next one's number twenty five. So yeah, pretty soon we'll be at a hundred.